Hello students, welcome to class PM. In today's class, we are going to discuss the much more deeper about the spectroscopy. The first thing we are going to discuss is Planck's quantum theory. What is this Planck's quantum theory and what it tells about the spectroscopy? So, according to the Max Planck, the oscillator or any electromagnetic radiation energy is quantized. Means, it put a break for the continuous energy theory. Okay, he said that any electromagnetic radiation will have discontinuous, that is the discrete values it will have as its energy. And this energy change in the electromagnetic radiation is due to the transition between two energy states. Either the transition can be between atoms or molecules or electrons. Okay, so how we can explain this? So according to the Planck, electron electromagnetic radiation travels in the form of packets of energy it travels in the form of packets of energy okay each packet is having a particular energy related to the frequency of that radiation so each packet is having h nu energy here nu is the frequency of radiation which we are talking about and h is the Planck constant so H, its value 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second so this is the Planck constant so according to Planck the electromagnetic radiations do not have the continuous energy they have the discrete values discontinuous energy and each electromagnetic radiation has a packet of energy this packet is called quanta that's why this theory is also called quantum theory so this each packet is called quanta that's why this theory is also called max Planck quantum theory okay so every packet of this is having energy equal to h nu h nu is nothing but it's a frequency of the radiation which we are considering okay so this is called max Planck quantum theory according to max Planck the oscillator is discontinuous okay and any change in its energy can occur only by means of jump between two distinct states of energy okay this is the max planck said about his quantum theory now this how it will help us to understand the spectroscopy we will see in our next